role of family history in diabetes. Now we all know that diabetes is a complex set of disorders which can be attributed to the uh, family history as well. The two most common type of diabetes is diabetes type 1 and diabetes type 2. There are other rare type of diabetes which can directly be attributed to uh, hereditary cause and this is maturity onset diabetes in the young individuals. Diabetes can not only be attributed to genes only, it is also uh, associated with your environmental uh, circumstances, your lifestyle and your eating habits. All these things are also attributed to diabetes. If the, uh, the genes in, uh, for the diabetes is not only responsible, if you are, have, if you are, you are having a history of a diabetes in the family, then you are likely to have a diabetes if your lifestyle is bad, if your eating habits are bad, are, are bad. okay. So whenever you have a diabetes, the genes are not only responsible, but if your lifestyle and your eating habits are uh, not good, then you can have a diabetes. I'm going to talk about how does we can reduce the risk of passing the diabetes to the next generation. Now we all know that if we have a family history positive for a diabetes, suppose if a parents or uncle aunts, if they are having a diabetes in the young age, then there is likely chances that you may or we may uh, acquire a diabetes as a hereditary factor. But let me tell you very strongly that even if we have a very strong family history of diabetes, we can prevent diabetes by having a very healthy lifestyle, we should have a very active life, doing regular exercise, eating a healthy diet and maintain a good body weight. If we take care of our lifestyles, our eating habits, our exercise and uh, doing regular activities, then we can at least prevent or we can withhold diabetes for a very long time. So we can prevent diabetes from passing on to the next generation by changing our lifestyle, by uh, having a healthy lifestyle and we can prevent diabetes to pass on to the next generation. Today I am going to talk about the diabetic emergency that is hypoglycemia. The patient who is a known case of diabetes and who are on an anti-diabetic medicines, tablets as well as an insulin. If when due to any circumstances the sugar level falls, if the sugar level goes beyond, beyond certain levels, maybe if it is less than 17 mg per cent, then uh, the, the individual who has suffered, who has known case of diabetes can have any symptoms of hypoglycemia, a sudden onset of weakness, sweating, uh, loss of consciousness, anything can happen if the sugar levels are low, even the pulse rate, the heartbeat also becomes far, fast. So whenever you have this kind of diabetic emergencies and if you are known to have a non-diabetic, if you have a glucometer at home, it's better to check your sugar level. And every time, I always talk to all my patients, they say, remember the rule 15. Rule 15 is what? Because suppose you are having a low sugar, and for example, if your sugar level is 70 mg per cent, then take 15 mg of carbohydrates and wait for 15 minutes. Recheck the sugar level again after 15 minutes. If the sugar level is still low, again take 15 mg of uh, carbohydrates again. Now, uh, it is very likely that your sugar levels tends to fall even after taking adequate amount of carbohydrates. So recheck it again after an hour's time. If you have, if you don't have a glucometer at home and you feel like that there is a sugar level, give some, some carbohydrate contents. Now what are these carbohydrate contents? The carbohydrate contents can be uh, uh, one tablespoon of sugar, three to four sugar cubes, one tablespoon of honey or syrup, of, or one half a glass of food juices or glucose tablet. Today I am going to talk about the adherence of the med diabetes medicines. Now why we want an adherence to diabetes medicines is very very important and why we are finding challenges, everyone finds it finding a challenge to adhere to diabetes or any medical treatment because many times we forget to purchase the medicines, many times we always believe that 
taking a medicine for a long time is not good. You always say that once we take a medicine, we have to take it for the lifetime. And there are lots of mites going on running in our mind. So we don't stick to our medical uh, adherence of the medicines. As per the data or statistics which are available, 31% of Indians, only 31% of Indians are adherent to the medicines. Only that means that out of the 100 individuals, only 31% is taking medicines regularly as per the prescribed by the, by the consultant doctor or the diabetologist. So medical adherence, if we know it correctly, if we are taking the medicines regularly, then yes, we can easily and very well control the medicine, diabetes uh, in a very proper manner and we can prevent the complications of the diabetes. What is the poor adherence? The poor adherence that if we are not able to maintain the HbA1c level less than 7%, then we say that whatever medicines we are taking, that we are not adherent to the medicines and we are not going to get the benefit out of the medicines. Your diet should contain minimum amount of carbohydrates or I will say that your refined carbohydrate should be replaced by the whole grains and try to eat more vegetables, more fruits, more sprouts and more salads. Uh, at least you should have 30 to 45 minutes uh, walking exercise or any kind of physical activity you should be doing. The recommended is 150 minutes of walk per uh, week is recommended uh, everywhere. Try and avoid all fats uh, which will increase your calorie level because whatever calories you take throughout the day, even if those calories are unused, it will be stored in the form of the sugar in your body or in the form of the fat. This fat is converted in the sugar when the body needs it. So regular exercise, watch your diet and of course watch your weight. As per the Indian Medical Association, your body mass index, everyone should know your body mass index according to your height. It should be between 19 and 23 and not between 19 and 25 as per the Europeans or the American guidelines. So for Indians, the body mass index should be 19 and 23. Try to maintain your body weight and yes, just do take care of your abdominal girth. In a male, the abdominal girth should be less than 36 inch and in the female, the abdominal girth is less, should be less than 31 inches.